Hello, everyone. Very good morning and good evening. Welcome to our SAP Step Up Circles, Parminder this side. So our today's topic is breaking into SAP job market with less or zero experience. First thing, I want to let you know that why I'm doing this topic. I'm getting a lot of requests, a lot of questions. People send us the email at support at sastragik.com. People send me the messages over the LinkedIn also with these queries, and these are the hundred of queries. People are uh, worried or people are cautious. If I go for a SAP uh, module, right, whether I will get a job after it, I don't have experience. All the things I look forward into the different job portals, everybody need experience guy, right? Sabko experience log chahiye. Pressure nobody wants or nobody wants a people who does not have SAP experience. So what will happen to me? I want to learn SAP or I am learning SAP, but what is going to happen after the learning? Whether I will get a job, whether I would be able to become SAP consultant, how I would be able to compete with the people who have experience because all the requirement is for the experience. That is a question. If it is in your mind, I want to let you know you are not alone. You are not alone. That question is there. I am getting 100 of those questions. And that's why I'm doing today's session to answer it. How you can start your career with less experience or with the zero experience. When I say less or zero, I'm talking about SAP relevant, SAP consulting, because everywhere they need the one end to end, two end to end implementation, three years, five years minimum SAP consulting experience. That's what people are looking for, right? And if you don't have that, you have a zero experience related to that, or you have a less experience in SAP, how you can still start your career in SAP as a SAP consultant, okay? In SAP also, there are the different streams you can start your career into. You can become a SAP end user, core user, key user, SAP consultant, support, different jobs you can get started with SAP. I will talk about little detail about them. So let's get it started with the first point that how to break out the first job as a SAP consultant. If you want to break out, break your first job, and you know that the first job is the most crucial First job is the most difficult one to get it, right? And make a note that when you are looking for the first job and once you have, once you are into the stream, it's always difficult to get into the stream. But when you are into the stream, right? then you go, go with the stream. Then after that, it's not a problem. It happens with me also. I learned uh, SAP within one year, right? I, I learned SAP, but it took me Total, it together when I started my SAP learning and then when I started my SAP consulting journey, total took me around three years of time to get my first SAP job. And after getting the first SAP job also, I was on a bench for six months. I was on a bench for six months, almost six months with Essential. When I get my first project from that day till today, it's almost 17, 18 years. From that day till today, I am keep on busy with some different, different projects. There's no lack of projects. Once you get the experience into it, once you are experienced, then a lot of things come. Once you are into the stream, then a lot of things come. But the question here is, yeah, how to get into the stream? That is the most difficult one. You have never worked as a consultant. You don't know what will happen into the consulting arena, right? A lot of questions are there. A lot of doubts are there, right? Uh, and that questions and doubts stop you to get a push, to get a jump into the stream, right? So that's what we are going to talk about, that if you want to first job, how you need to get a first job into the SAP, right? There are the key things are there, right? So when you're looking for a first job, you are definitely looking a job into a particular module, right? Into a particular, you all have mentioned your modules, right? You're looking up job into the specific module. Without having a proper module knowledge, it is not going to happen. So that is must give. Yeah, module knowledge, you need it. You need to get trained from somewhere or by yourself, whatever the way you prefer. You need to have a very good system hands-on. I will not spend much time. I will just quickly cover because the first topic itself, I have done a two-hour session earlier in the step of circuit. So I will not go into the much deep of that. That things I am expecting you have done. You want to learn a module? You have already learned that module. You have gone through a structured training 
also make a note a lot of people come to me and they are kind of a learning SAP for a year and two years. <laughs> I said, have you started applying? No, sir, I'm still learning. I still don't feel confident. When I say that, okay, the, what is the way you are learning, right? People are into the YouTube, people are into the Udemy, people are into the Google. Okay, they have taken server from somewhere and learning, trying to learn something. The dots are not getting connected, right? It is very important that you go through a structured training. Okay, a proper structured training you go through because right now the problem is not that content is not there. Content is not there is not a problem. The problem is a lot of content is there, right? You get jump into one YouTube video and then it get diversified to another one, to another one. So the path which you need to go through there, the internet take you through that some longer routed path. So it's very important you go through the structure training to learn the module first, have a good hands-on onto the module, do a good system practice. In SaaS Sargi, we have a training for all of the different, different modules. You can get in touch with the team. They can guide you that if you want to go ahead with the Sastragi trainings, we create a one bundle which covers everything. You need to have a system practice. You need to go through specific videos. You need to have instructor-led sessions to cover it. You need to prepare for your interview. You need to give your mock-up interviews. Everything we have, all the resources we have put it into a bundle together to give it to you. But you need to make sure you need to go somewhere to get this structure training so that you have a good sound knowledge onto the module, right? good sound knowledge onto the module would be the one thing which you need to get it done, right? Then after that, the second thing which you will require is to prepare a good CV. Okay, prepare a good CV. When you are preparing a CV, people do a lot of mistakes. People do that many of mistakes that I need to create a separate course itself. I need to, and now I have, we have a separate course onto the CV preparation, right? The course is available and my team can share a link with you. It's not a big course. I think it's a three hours of course, but to create that course, I have completed 10 to 12 different courses around the web, which is available to create that three hours of course for SAP. Because around the globe, there are the different uh, courses available, which talks about how to create your CV. What I want to focus and give it to you, how to create a CV for a SAP consultant, right? So I have created a separate three, around three hours of course with the sample and the reference CVs that how to create a CV. CV is the first gateway. You are not in front, you are not in the front, your CV is in the front, right? And that also nowadays passed through the AI tools. So you need to make sure that the CV has been created with the intelligent keywords. And for that, uh, even we have a program SAP Job and Mastery that also start with the CV creation. Because that is the first gate for you. You need to have a good CV, right? Third thing is to have an experience. You need to include the experience, okay? How we will talk about more into this session that how to include the experience. Sir, mujhe to experience hai nahi. How can I include the experience, right? You need to find the ways how you can include the experience when you are into, when you want to jump into the SAP. And there are the multiple different ways. In the SAP Job and Mastery, we have created a course called SAP Job and Mastery. That is to take from the module knowledge and that it, that itself course is around 50 to 60 hours that it take from you from the module knowledge to the job knowledge to the job. So the bridge between the module, because there are the thousand of people in every module are getting trained. They're not getting the job. Everybody is not getting the job because we are not a people are not able to understand there's a bridge which is required from your module knowledge to make you job ready. So that module, that bridge is missing. In Sastra Geek, we have created to fulfill that bridges, we have created two programs. I will talk them in detail later. One is SAP Job and Mastery, and second is SAP Internship Program. So that, that bridge need to be covered, right? In that bridge, the experience also comes where you need to add on or you need to put on some experience into it, right? Now experience is required, right? I am saying that with the zero or less experience, but some experience would be required. And a lot of you who are sitting here have a capability to add your experience into it, right? To add your experience into it. Now, I just want to ask you, and you need to mention in the chat, how many years of experience do you have, irrespective of SAP? You might have worked on some other places. If you have not worked anywhere, you fall under the zero experience category. If you have worked anywhere, any kind of job, any kind of job you have done, Put your experience, 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 20, 25, 
you might have done any kind of job put your experience if you are complete fresher you have not worked anywhere put zero okay so so we can see here the figures are coming 17 years as SAP end user, the people promote who's worked as 17 years as SAP end user is a perfect material to become a consultant, right? It's very easy for you. You just need to know the trick that how to get it done. And then you would be able to do four years, zero, zero figure also. We have seven years, nine years, three years, 15 years, 10 years, 17 years, six years, 14 years, 10 years, two, 2.5, 10, 10 plus 15. Uh, again, a zero is there, 12, 17, 10. So you can see there that I mean, even when the people come to us to become SAP consultant, they have some experience. 90% of the people have some experience, right? But they don't have SAP experience. They have SAP end user experience. Some people even does not have a SAP experience at all. First thing you need to understand, whatever the experience you have, okay, many of your experience would be relevant for the SAP. It is right that how you need to convert those experience. We always, I always use that term, manipulation. How you need to manipulate your experience, that's what you need to understand it, right? If you can manipulate it, again, I'm not talking about, don't get me wrong when I'm saying that you need to show the experience, is to show fake experience. A lot of people also come to me in my career counseling sessions are 50,000 area, one and a half like Hyderabad may, we have given to someone, to show some experience. Some people also get the uh, uh, everything, all the documentation from them. And I also have a people from IBM. I also have a people from TCS. I also have a people from TechM. I also have a people from Deloitte who joined this company and they need to resign because their background verification, because they caught the experience is shown as a fake and they need to resign their jobs. So make a note that when I am talking about, there's a difference between the manipulation, manipulating your experience and fake experience. I'm not favoring the fake experience, but I will tell you to manipulate your experience, okay? And that manipulation also, you would be doing by putting effort, a lot of efforts, a lot of efforts would be required uh, to manipulate that experience, right? All the efforts which you are putting it into the trainings, into going into the system, running the different scenarios, that all number of hours you are putting it, right? That number of hours need to get converted. If you say, sir, for uh, nine months, uh, I got the training. I have a nine months of getting trained into SAP experience. Nobody would buy in. Nobody will take you. But if you convert those nine months into your existing experience, if you can mold it and showcase the SAP experience, those all things we have worked into your existing company or in existing job, that's what you need to do it, right? So experience makes a difference and experience you need to add it. If you are a fresher, it is 100% mandatory for you. You need to add some experience. How a fresher can add, I will let you know. If you are working into any other streams, you need to still add some experience into SAP and then go into the job market. How you need to add with your existing experience, how you can mold it to showcase the experience that I would talk about. And I am not talking about just showcasing the experience. I am talking about showcasing experience and also defending that experience confidently in the interviews and when you get into the job also work as a formed consultant, right? So that's what we need to do. But before going there, you need to understand one thing. I'm now coming into the second point. Why it is important to gain SAP project experience? Why it is important? If you want to answer this question, you need to understand why companies prefer SAP experience cons consultants? Why companies prefer SAP experience. Sabko SAP experience hi kyun chahiye? Kya aag lagi hoi market mein, right? Everybody want experience. Before I answer it, I want your answer. What do you think? Why companies prefer SAP experience candidates? Quickly, over the chat. Now, the rules of this, when I'm asking the question, you all need to answer it. If you don't answer, don't know the answer, put NI. But you need to use your fingers to your keyboards that activate your brain and your focus gets shipped back to the session, right? So basically, when I'm asking your questions to you, I want to make sure it's very difficult for a human brain to concentrate. I would be conducting the session almost for two hours. Two hours sitting and concentrating on something is very difficult. It, this does not how the human brain is designed. We need to hack the brain, right? So this is the hack. 
I put it to ask your question. So even you don't know the answer, just type N I. No idea, sir. Mujhe idea nahi hai. I came to this session to learn. Aap batao. <laughs> right? That is fine. But type something. Right? Okay, I have few answers. Thank you very much. Hands-on experience is required due to criticality of business. Very good, Ravneet. Uh, uh, Muhammad said because SAP is a critical application. Very good, Muhammad. They require good knowledge about the business process and good best ecosystem. They do not want to train fresh birds. Yeah, who wants to spend time on the training? Much impact will be there on the business if something is wrong into the production. Very good, Muhammad. Very critical for business, right? Immediate to assign into the project, right? Fast paced projects, right? Business knowledge required, experience with the troubleshooting. Yes, so there are the multiple reasons are there and you guys have all put it correctly. What I will do, I will just put all your things into a thread to showcase to you. Half key knowledge aapko showcase karun. Right? <laughs> Some people told me gurus are the people who sell the river bottle sitting beside the river putting in putting the river water into the bottle and selling it to the people <laughs> dusro ki knowledge dusro ko de di right <laughs> so i will try to explain uh, in, in 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 more in different terminologies so that if it is still not reach you it will it will try to reach you ki bhaiya when you are working on sap you need to understand what kind of companies implement sap Gali Nikkurki shops, the, the nearby shops, they are not implementing SAP. Small factories around your third tier city, second tier cities, they are not implementing SAP. SAP implementation is happening most of the companies who are Fortune 500 companies. Fortune 500 companies, each individual company, somehow they are associated with SAP and using SAP products. Indirectly, of very big companies, of very big businesses, they are implementing SAP. SAP itself is a very critical and very big software which connect a lot of things together, a lot of things together. And there is no another ERP available in the world which can connect all the different businesses such a good way that SAP does, right? So all these Fortune 500 companies, all the big com big uh, and the uh, um, uh, I, I can also consider the um, the mid cap companies or the large cap companies. They go with SAP implementation, okay. And the SAP implementation is the owner for the companies also that we are into SAP. We work onto SAP. You know that many small tire companies go for SAP if they want to sell their businesses. If they want some big company should take over their businesses, that's what the investors and the funders or the promoters wants to do, they push SAP, SAP implement, right? Because that is given you uh, that, that your business has uh, some standardized processes because you have implemented SAP. That's the picture of SAP, right? So all these big companies, when they implement SAP, it is not that any another software where you are checking an email or in a day you have not checked the email or you have not gone through it, you have not replied, nothing will happen. When you implement SAP, this SAP is a pumping heart of an enterprise, okay? ERP softwares are a pumping heart of enterprise. When you make them centralized into it, if your heart start beating, what will happen? You will die. Same way, if something happens to this pumping heart ERP, which is an SAP system, something bad happen for it, okay? The business can die or business can paralyzed also, right? If the blood does not reach to all the veins and all the body parts, right? What can happen, right? That way the SAP is a pumping heart and is a mission critical. The heart is the most mission critical in your body, right? It should always pump, 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 right? The similar way SAP always should learn is a mission critical application. Businesses put, it, put SAP to support the business, but later on this become lifeline for business. SAP is not working. You cannot dispatch your products. You cannot invoice your products. You cannot invoice to your customers, which means revenue will not come. Revenue will not come. The material is outside your premise, but if the SAP is not working, you cannot receive it. You cannot receive it. So it's a mission critical application which should be available 24 by seven. And if you need to understand who are the consultants, consultants are the one who would have a very good knowledge 
about those application they are the experts of it they would set it up into the system there is one session due which i want to do it sap failures okay what are the companies who got failed with sap they implemented sap and they have done very bad implementation i know personally one case in malaysia that one of the business in malaysia need to shut it down and one of the reason was the sap implementation all the sap implementations are not successful there are a lot of failures also there i want to do specific one session a step up circle session on sap failures now you will see the same sap product for one company they are gaining benefit they are increasing their uh, business with the help of sap the more transparency more control they are able to bring in another company they have sap implemented and sare aadmi pareshan <laughs> that full form of sap is also given right sare aadmi pareshan they are they are not able to sustain with sap and because of sap their business goes down that kind of cases are also there now it's the same sap product right sap has given the same product to both of the companies one company is generating benefits growth and another company is going to decline now it is very important the product is same how the product is implemented and how the product is handled based on that the success defined and into that area the very crucial things which will be made which will be impacted would be the consultant sap consultant because sap consultants guide business and configure sap system as per the business needs if that part is not whatever the good software sap is if that part is not done correctly it will generate failures it will generate failures and sometimes the failures are that big that some companies after sap implementation their total valuation got dropped by 30 to 35% also that kind of cases also we have i will showcase those cases with the numbers some day to you right so the who are the key control factors if the same product is there key control factor is the people who is implementing people who are helping in the implementation right those are the consultants people who are handling it in the support after the implementation has been done those are the consultant support consultant implementation consultant so consultant plays a big role into the success of sap implementation and making sure that sap runs smoothly after the go live also and the changes which is expected in the system the right changes at the right time we bring it them on right so consultant are the major factors now because the consultant are the major factors they all the people know is the experienced people to set up their processes not the new ones right experienced people who understand the business processes and who understand the sap they need to implement sap for them that's why the experience is required some people say that the market is bakwas sap market is bakwas rubbish market how come only you need the experienced people you need to understand why they need experienced people if you will try to understand that what is needed then you would be able to prepare yourself towards that and otherwise bhaiya yeah, you will be just waiting and watching and nothing will come to you your cheese would be moved by someone else right so those companies re require expert people because when you are handling sap if you have done something wrong by chance it went to the quality and production and it was a wrong thing it can impact the business it can adversely impact the business and i know personally the case we are basically it was the sorry south america business we are basically some invoice related development it went wrong it was not properly tested and it went into the quality and by mistake it went into the production wrong invoices were generated to the uh, wrong invoices were generated to the businesses the the loss was million dollars why because the loss is what is wrong going into the business and then when for this big companies this news goes out that bhaiya <laughs> their invoices have problem they are not able to invoice properly to the customer how the revenue will go when this go news goes out the market their share market price also drops down their valuation also drops down so the impact is huge the valuation impact is huge one mistake the impact to the company can be huge that's why they are very spectacle they want to put the experienced people there because they consider it is mission critical application although there are the firewalls development quality production there are the firewalls but i have seen those firewalls sometimes get bypassed and we do the mistake in the last to last project itself itself we did the 
we did uh, technical go live and the US business got stopped. US business came into mon in the morning and they started doing the transaction. Their transaction was dumping off because one of the code which was not supposed to go into the production, somehow it went into the production and the regression testing was not properly done. So these things happen, right? That's why the experience crowd is required. That's why I would let you know in this session how you can add experience, okay? How you can make yourself ready to for the job which they are looking for, right? That's what we are going to talk about here. But understand, it is not like that the market, they need that experienced people. There is specific requirement. That's why the experienced people are required. Now, yeah, sir, itana bol diya. Ab ye bhi batao. How to gain SAP project experience? How to gain SAP project experience? That's an important question. That's what all of you have in mind. That's why you came into here, right? So let me ask you this question. What do you think? What are the ways you can gain the experience? How do you add SAP experience into your series? What do you think? How it can be done? Quickly, over the chat. Again, if you don't know, put an eye. Internships, internships, freelancing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Raj, freelancing is for the experienced people. Right? Freelancing, they will expect more freelancing. They expect you are you, you are uh, you are totally an independent consultant who has expertise in the particular area. You can do the freelancing and you can earn a lot into the freelancing into SAP. But for that, you need to build up your profile, your connections, add experience and get expire, expertise into the niche areas. Then you can go for the freelancings. Mini projects on your own, okay. Problem solving, SAP end user experience coupled with the business knowledge. Internship, few people have no idea, very good. No idea is a very good idea, okay. Your, as soon as you type no idea, your brain gives signals, ki bhaiya, I have typed no idea. I need to be ready to get the idea, right? <laughs> okay, doing use cases. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for answers. Thank you for answers. Work with experienced senior consultant. Work with experienced senior consultant. We call it as a uh, shadowing, job shadow. Required real-time experience. Real-time experience you require, but the thing is that real-time experience you get when you get into the job. And even getting into the job also, some people think, oh, bhaiya, done, I got the offer letter, I am joining Accenture, IBM, Wipro, right? They don't understand ki bhaiya, uske baad bhi there are the interviews going to happen. The client will take the interviews and then you will be getting the real-time project experience. So there are the multiple things out there. The things are not that easy, but it is not impossible. Okay, if you do the things correctly, it is not impossible. Okay, let's get into it. How to get the gain SAP project experience. So that is the thing which I realized, you know, that and uh, I am into the trainings almost for 10 years. Trainings comes a passion to me, right? I'm, I'm very passionate about sharing the knowledge. And you know that when initially I was training the people, I was used to quote, uh, when I was training people, I was supposed to give a module ka SD, MM, PP, whatever module I'm training. I need to give the best knowledge to them and make sure that they know the modules very well. And then they will get the job. People will get the job, right? And, and I am always analyzing that what I am doing, what more I can do, what next I need to do with Sasra Geek Solutions. I'm keep on checking. That's why I uh, people ask me, Parminder, you are so busy, how you can bring the time out to have uh, slots for the people who, and you do the free career counseling, how you can bring the time. Well, I say that, you know, that when I discuss with the people in my career counseling, that give me chance to understand ki, yeah, why people are failing. And I have done almost near to 3000 career counseling now. And my major focus into those career counseling to understand why people are not becoming consultant. What is the problem? So coming to the point, earlier our focus, my focus also, and Sastragic focus when we, I'm talking about four years ago, is to give a very good module knowledge, right? And then I was always, when people ask me, Ki, yeah, job milega, nahi milega, whether we'll get the job, I was used to quote one of the dialogues from the three idiot. I will, I will tell it in Hindi. Uh, 
let's see if it can be translated into the English. Uh, and the, the Amir Khan said that Kabil bano, kamyab nahi bano. Agar tum kabil ban jaoge, to kamyab hi apne aap aayegi, right? So that's what I was used to quote it. But later on, when I say that even the good module knowledge I also am giving, not everyone is get, able to get converted into the jobs. They are, they are the conversion ratios and our conversion ratios are definitely better. But I was still understanding, trying to understand ki why still people are not able to become a consultant, right? There is still something. So that's where I started analyzing more. And that's where I found it out that many of the institutes, including the SAP authorized institutes, and many of the institutes, they are bringing it up, up to you for the module knowledge. And many of them, even the module knowledge is also very less of quality, but leave that. But they are bringing you up to the module knowledge. But to become a consultant, or if you want to work into a project, that much knowledge is not sufficient. You need to add a lot of things into it. You need to add a lot of things into it. And then from four years ago, we started improving the things. And I started thinking the things, okay, yeah, when I joined and I, when I was working and I got a job, I work as a consultant. And when I delivered also my project, the first project I delivered, what was my challenges? Why I was not getting it? Why it took three years for me? What was the reason? Then I, I started finding the answer that there is a bridge required from module knowledge to the job knowledge. There is some bridge required. The first step I put it into the bridge four years ago was job and mastery. That is that course name is SAP job and mastery and implementation project exposure. SAP job and mastery and implementation project exposure. Uh, support team, please give that course link into the chat. So that course straight away come from my heart because when I understand, okay, and I did, did a lot of career counseling to understand this, that enlightenment come a little later to me, but it came finally, and I understand some bridges required. And that's where I have created this uh, course. And that course even is bigger than my module courses. My module courses uh, are sometimes 50 hours, 60 hours, but this SAP job and mastery, um, uh, exposure to support and implementation projects, goes up to, it's a 60 to 70 hours of course. It's a 60 to 70 hours of course. I created this course. We did, I think a couple of times, we did the live sessions also for this course. And then people start getting benefit out of this course. In this course, what I have done, I started, what are the things you require? I consider ki haan, we have a mastery courses. We have mastery, uh, PP, MM, SD module courses, the mastery level you have done. After that, what else you need it? to go into as a consultant. So I understand, okay, first thing, good CV is required. So I did a two to three hours of sessions on to the CV creation itself that how to prepare the CV. Then some people might go into the support projects, right? So they need to know how the support projects happens, what consultant does, what kind of tools need to happen, what kind of tickets it would be. So I created a segment to support experience, right? That how you would be handling the support projects. Then I jump into an end-to-end implementation project. That's where basically this project become, this course become very lengthy, starting from the discover phase. Every phase, what I did, I thought, okay, this is, at that time, whatever the project I was doing it, I took that example. Okay, this is the project which uh, I am doing it, right? If the same project I need to explain all to audience, I took that project example, explain everything about the project where it is, what it does, what kind of things it does, what the product is, how the manufacturing unit is, how they sell, how they buy, how they manage their financials, everything I have explained. And then I said, okay, let's start the implementation from the discovery phase till the cutover phase, every phase with the documentations, with the real-time examples. I have put it FS creations, different kind of functional specification creations, how it need to be created. Business blueprint as is to be, Okay, uh, test scenario, test scripts, everything has been covered in detail and we created a course, ki bhaiya, if you want to get a job as a consultant, first you realize, ki bhaiya, after becoming a consultant, what you need to do it, ja ke, as a consultant, you will not be only creating a production orders or you will not be only approving the uh, purchase orders, right? Apart from the module, you need to do a lot of things, a lot of knowledge you require. So that knowledge, we put it into the SAP job and mastery. And when we came to know, Kibhiya, this is the creating the benefits when I started doing the success stories with students. And in the success stories, students started speaking about the job and mastery course, that how this course enlightened them 
to open their eyes. Okay, this I need to do as a consultant. This is required, right? Then uh, we make this course as a complimentary. We st we, I stopped charging for that course because it was generating benefits. That is the reason I have that I create a good consultants who can stand into the market and people ask, you are different from other. Why? Because you are Sastra Geeks product. I make this course complimentary. All of our mastery courses, bundles now come complimentary SAP job and mastery, right? Some people say that, okay, the complimentary SLA, look, this is the most impactful course in our pocket, let me tell you. Now, when we did this and then student came to us, say that, sir, this is good, I'm, I'm going through, and we make it as a self-paced videos to go through on your own, on your own paste, right? And then People come to me and they say that, sir, they need some hands-on also. They understand how to create a now function specification, right? But how actually when the business requirement will come, how it needs to be created and how we will be checking in system, how vapors are developing, that experience uh, we require. Because what happens, some people from the watching the videos two, three times, they are able to absorb it. They are able to explain that they have done that thing. Okay, they would be able to manipulate their experience based on that learning. Some people still, they need, yeah, I need to do with my own hands, then only the confidence will come in my voice. I also understand that. And then around three years ago, we started the internship program. So what we did in the internship program, we tried to bring us, our students from ST, MM, PP, FICO, ABAP, we make them sit together and I gave one of the project example, which we have done earlier implementation, that, that real time example I have given and we have created a simulative project, which they need to convert, they need to do an end to end implementation for it. All the faces, the discussion, I become a business, I said, I am a business, you ask me the questions. Let's do the fit and gap workshop with me. <clears throat> Then after that, I ask them, okay, draw the 2B diagram, as is diagram, 2B process flow diagrams, BPM and diagrams. Then now create the uh, business blueprint diagrams by, by with those BPM and diagrams, create those ones, right? And then after that, now work on the function specification, create the function specifications, work on that, right? So those all things we have, we have done it during uh, that uh, program, everything we have done it during that program. Now, when we, when we were doing that into that program, so we got such a good response. People said that one student came to me from PP and he said, sir, I have not shown the experience. I just show I have end user experience. I got an interview call and interview call, I have mentioned about in my CV about the functional specification in my introduction also. I said that I know the functional specification. They asked me that what kind of business requirement was there and what kind of functional specification. He told that I have done an internship, okay? And they, I, they have, he has explained that what was the requirement and how the custom development was done, how the function specification was written, what the logic was written. And they get so impressed and they have quickly selected him and they have told him that being a fresher, if you are explaining these all things, how the function specification, business requirement, how the custom enhancements need to be done, that is more than enough to take you. And they were very impressed the way that guy has explained. And he was able to quickly get the job offer and he was able to do also justify his jobs also because he has some experience exposure. When the first time this terminology comes, when you go into the job interfaces, FS, IDOCs, sometimes people say, yeah, which different samudra mein, in which different sea, ocean, I jumped into it. The training, all these things was not there and suddenly they are so, every project would be different, right? What we can try that make you ready as closer as possible. Although every project would be having challenges, it is not like a makkhan going into the paranta, flowing into the paranta. So there would be always challenges. That's why the SAP job market is tough and the people who will put the efforts will get the results. Right? So that's where basically we saw that the value come and then people in their step-up circles, we have so many videos, go and watch those. All of you who are looking for that jobs, we have in our free courses also we have put it all of our success stories there in youtube also all of our success stories are there so support team please put the link for the, our success stories where people have speak about how they got benefited from the sastra geek program and when i see that okay the internship program internship program was always a pay, paid program 
we don't pay for it because it's not a real time project we are working on it's not like the effort you are putting on i am getting money from somewhere outside which i can give it to you right it's not like that we created this program so that whatever the existing uh, jobs you are working in you would be able to still work in your existing job and you need to bring out some additional efforts from your existing jobs during the weekends also and the additional days of efforts you need to bring it out so that you can complete this internship while doing your existing job right and when we saw that this is creating a benefits we also made the internship also we made it complimentary we said we are not paying for it we'll also not charge for it but then we got 2000 plus application for this internship everybody wants to do it right and i don't have that much of bandwidth to cover it we don't have that much of it takes a lot of efforts from our side we are putting a lot of efforts and believe me sap charging 4 5 lakh rupees not even the 10% of efforts so the, a lot of efforts we need to put it so we thought that we need to bring those people all the we are not charging for it we need to bring those people who are very serious for it and we need to first give chance to our students sastra ge students so we make it okay to filter out all these applications coming to us we make it okay anyone who has done the, who has taken two bundles from us it means he is very serious for his training and the other thing in the internship when you are working in we expect you know the module because we treat you as a consultant ki bhaiya you have gone through our mastery courses excellence courses you are perfect now on the module and now you are working as a in this project as a consultant so we make it if you are if you have the if you have the uh, if you have from our, uh, our mastery bundle if you have from our, our us our excellence bundle two bundle access you have done and your mastery course is 70% completed then you can jump into the internship and it is complimentary it is complimentary right and we have also given people chances that to go through this internship multiple times one lady from usa zero experience zero experience last 15 to 16 years working as a housewife and she was able to go through and she put in a lot of efforts her efforts goes up to 9 months starting from mastery excellence she also tried to learn some tm she was there uh, she dedicated it done two internship programs put in a lot of efforts in the both of the projects then she was able to convert that experience put it that experience in her cv that she has done the two implementation projects not even that us market is very tough bhaiya us market is not that easy not even that she was also able to sustain and she was having more than two offer letters with her okay and the the total number of hours of interview in a company where she got selected was 300 3.5 hours of interview it happened in 2 to 3 rounds it's not one shot 3 and a half hour of interview in 2 to 3 rounds total 3 and a half hours of interview she has sustained with she was able to sustain because she has put it a lot of effort she got benefited from this internship program those experience she blended it and showcase her experience she was able to speak it up now she is working she is also able to work it because she has put it a lot of efforts now what we are doing it it is not a fake experience again i am saying it is manipulated experience you have put it a lot of efforts a lot of hours you have put it it that hours we are blending it we guide you in the internship program also and the sap job and mastery also in the cv preparation it will guide you how this experience while the training and the internship and the job and mastery which you are getting it how you would be able to change it blend it and put it into your cv i always tell people if you are a plumber and if you need a job of electrician in your cv if you will talk about plumbing work plumbing work plumbing work next job also you will get plumbing you will not get the electrician work you will have to showcase that you have a capabilities to do the electrician work cv is not to showcase your past only to your past experience cv is a place to showcase your capabilities what would happen if the life has given chance to you what you might be doing it happens in every organization also in essential i went for the promotion sir manager bana do mujhe i i deserve a manager you know what they are what they told me parvinder if you want to become a team lead if you want to become a project manager you need to showcase those capabilities in your existing role as a senior consultant role you need to showcase those capabilities you need to do those kind of things as which is been done as a manager 
showcase as a senior consultant, then you would be promoted as a manager. Right? Deloitte also, it happens the same way with the form initiatives. You need to showcase and do it. Tell that you are ready for the next level by showcasing that the similar things you're doing into the current level. Right? So that is the way you need to mold your CVs by taking these experience from the internship programs. Okay? So job and mastery we did, internship we did, and believe me, it takes a lot of efforts to do that. If you're ready to put the efforts, if you follow the path, things can be done for you. Things can be done. Okay, the uh, <laughs> few questions are coming it up. Okay, I will take a quick pause and check any questions you have on the this part, on to the internship. Now you can take an internship from us. You can take an internship from outside and it's very common. It's not something like, I have bring it up something new. I have bring it up something new, which I feel is not there into the India and the Asian market. In the US market, in the European market, it's very common. You do a graduation, you do a post-graduation. They expect six month or a year internship. This is, I'm talking about, you are doing the partial effort. They will expect for a six month or a for one year, you would be going and doing a work as an intern. I still meet a lot of people, they are working as a one and a half year also, they have done as an internship. And there it is like that, once you have done the uh, education, you are still not ready for the job, okay? The bridge is in the foreign market is internship, which is very common and everybody does it. Everybody does it because it is kind of a norm there. Here people, I am graduated now, Abhito 50,000 rupees per month. If you give me, I will work. Otherwise, I will not work. Yeah, you are not ready, my dear friend. <laughs> you are still not ready. If you are not ready, if you are not getting a job, you need to make sure you, you get yourself ready for it. And you'll have to put the efforts for it. You yourself is your product. It's your responsibility to shine it. It's your responsibility to polish it. Nobody else is coming from outside and polish your shoes. Okay? Whatever the hi-fi character you are, you have to put your efforts for your product. Okay. Uh, support team, please also give the link for the internship program if somebody wants to go through. It has some value, but that value is for the mastery and the excellence bundle, the two bundle values it shows. Internship program is a complementary. There is the additional sessions which we do it. There is additional efforts which we put for the internship, right? That is complementary. So we have a mastery bundle, we have excellence bundle. If you take both, then internship is complementary. Plus, on top of that, there is some more criteria I will show you. Okay, Kavita's question I have answered. Uh, Anthony is saying, is there any age limit to internship? From our side, there is no age limit to internship. We don't, I have converted the people who has a 50 plus, 55 plus year of age also, we were able to convert into the consulting profiles. I would not say that age does not matter. matter. I am not here to tell the lies, but yeah, age matters. Higher the age will become, that it will become more and more difficult, but it does not become impossible. Impossible word itself said, I am possible, right? It become difficult, you need to add more modules, you need to, your age brings more weightage. That weight, weight that weight uh, need to be com compensated by adding more module knowledges, more project experiences, more internship projects you need to add in. To compensate it with the age also, you will be able to do it. We have 60 plus years of people also done the internship with us. Pablo is asking, do we know the exact days and hours of the internship so I can make it compatible with my current job? Uh, okay, now we are changing the timing of the internship. Earlier we were doing it Thursday evening. Now we'll be doing it as a Thursday morning. I think Thursday morning, 8 a.m. time we have identified for an 8 a.m. India Standard Time. So if you are from the US, if you are from the other areas, you need to convert the time zone. So that would be the one session which will happen with me, where you will be interacting with me. And I would be telling you that assignments and other things will be giving it to you. Although there would be a project manager, there would be a program manager for the internship project. We would be having a full hierarchy structure. 
टीम लीड्स कंसल्टेंट्स जूनियर कंसल्टेंट्स बिजनेस पीपल वुड बी देयर ऑल ऑल द पीपल वुड बी देयर राइट सो दैट दैट ऑल वुड बी देयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर वुड बी देयर प्रोग्राम मैनेजर वुड बी देयर एंड द टाइमिंग वुड बी थर्सडे द इंटरेक्शन विद मी ओवर द वीकेंड यू नीड टू इंटरेक्ट विद द पीपल यू नीड टू इंटरेक्ट विद द टीम टू कंप्लीट योर असाइनमेंट्स ओके सो दिस इज अनदर थिंग वी विल हैंड इज द इंटीग्रेशन how the different modules integrated with each other most of the integration part will try to bring in the internship because any inter integrated scenarios you need multiple project multiple module people to work together right that is also you would also be able to understand what is your limits in the project what you need to do it because in trainings we need to do a lot of things we also create the company code also all its finance part right we also activate material ledger also the pp consultant we are training it right but in actual project is not you who should doing it it would be you need to follow it up with the other consultant to get it done right so over the weekends there would be a sessions ad hoc sessions would be there within the teams which you need to do it to complete the assignments thursday morning 8 am indian standard time will be having and we are starting a new batch for the internship every 3 to 4 months we complete a project and we start a new one and we are starting a new one the date would also be told my team would be telling you the date also so uh, i will also explain here what is a pre request for the internship freshers non working non working professionals now we are saying that if you can jump into the gurukul program that would be better i will talk about the gurukul also any working consultant can do the internship and anyone in the progress of getting trained into one module they can go for the internship what is a prerequisite for the internship let's talk about that you should be a, you must be a sastra geek student you must have taken the two bundle access from us uh if you are tech made easy students we have a collaboration with tech made easy if you are a tech made easy students you can also apply for the internship you should have a bandwidth to complete the assignments we are expecting 20 hours in a week you should be able to give it then only you would be able to complete your assignments so if you can give that bandwidth if you are giving that commitment then only even though you have taken the two bundle access but if this commitment is not there will not take you for the internship because internship you need to put efforts and you need to understand we have a limited slots if you have occupied one slot and if you don't do your part your configurations if you don't do it then the full team got stuck is a project is linked everything one team does not work the full project got hold, get get on hold right so you need to understand that job and mastery uh, you need to complete it minimum 40% of the job and mastery you need to complete it before starting the internship you can do rest of that while doing the internship your mastery course you should be getting completed by 70% 70% of the completion should be there for the mastery course or there are some people also jumping into the internship or you should have a 2 plus years of consulting experience in module whichever the module you are joining from sdmm ppf ico if you have 2 plus years of consulting experience in that module and you fulfill and uh, i will put this here because this would be or okay 2 plus years of consulting experience or must have completed one mastery course i will tell you this should come first then or and this should come now i'll be saying okay few more questions Siaram is saying Siam is saying uh, hi Parminder I am exp I am interested in the one year experience program which needs to full commitment of 40 hours uh, per week I was in discussion with the support team but we cannot schedule a call earlier yes now but Siam is asking that is a very new program again another program this full part is very close to my heart right because whenever I have seen sometime I am 17 years. and i see consultants who are working they also get job but 
many consultants do a pathetic job. Okay, a lot of things which you are supposed to do as a consultant, they don't do it. And I don't blame them. What I believe ki bhaiya, that proper training is not there. Nobody is giving that training. The big companies, all big companies I have inquired or many of them I have worked with them. They are not investing enough efforts which is required to make sure a consultant is ready for the project. Everybody need a ready-made materials. That's what. Because they also want to quickly put them into the market and they consider that yeah, consultants are... You know why earlier only the MBA students was considered as a consultant and they were taken and they were putting into the consulting job because it was uh, assumed that they are the more smarter people. They have a very good communication. They are very adaptive. We will throw them into a project. They will quickly learn in a couple of weeks and they will start to deliver it. But the SAP got expanded that big that only the MBA students was not enough. The huge job requirements was there. Then the engineering students also came into the picture. <laughs> right? But still, you know that uh, a lot of efforts are required. Uh, and you should be very much ready for that projects. Okay? SAP jobs are challenging jobs, but it is also very interesting. I loved a lot doing when I jumped from the operations and I started into the consulting. The consulting job, I loved like anything. All the in my operation jobs also, I learned a lot. But the different challenges you face, the exposure you get, you stand in front of 50 people and they consider you as expert. And if you show, show your expert, if you showcase your knowledge, they, you also get the respect. Similar way of respect also, you get it as a consultant. Okay. But if you are not knowledgeable and you are, um, I need to check oh, uh, that kind of things you do, they also kick you off from the project very soon also. Right? Very challenging. You will be traveling. Uh, now travel has become little less because of the COVID. But you would be working on the different projects. You would be understanding the different industries. That is the thing. I loved it. I got stuck in automobile for almost four years. But when I jumped into the consulting, oh my God, pharma, chemical industries, steel industry, construction industry, high-tech industry, so many ex ex industries exposure, I got it. And I always loved that going into the different industries. So it, has, it is a very lucrative job. It pays also, very handsome pay also it gives. But you need to be ready for it. And that's where basically I always see yeah, what I can do it to make you guys ready, right? And that's where all these programs are come straight from my heart, thinking about yeah, this guy want to become a SAP consultant. This is his dream. What I can do to make sure this guy fulfill his dreams. That's always my thinking, right? So we came up with another program. That's what uh, Siam is asking, the one-year program. That is SAP Gurukul program. I think the, this is a very new program. Only one and a half to two months ago, we have launched this program. We have started it. It would be a continuous program. People would be joining it. And from the first batch we have started, the idea is to convert uh, into the consultant. Two people in the one and a half month itself, we have, Sastra Geek itself has offered them. We have also the consulting requirement, a lot of consulting requirements we have. We are doing the consulting also with the training. And out of the initial people who have joined us, two of them we have already offered them to work into the projects. Okay, and we will be paying them on the monthly basis, right? They joined as a Gurukul program. We have a more interaction with them. We understand, okay, now they have a capability. They were the older students. They were working with the internship program. Now they joined the Gurukul. We got the requirement. Those are the first who got the chance. So what is this big Gurukul program? You can search into the Google or you can go into the YouTube. Uh, my dear team, please send the link for the Gurukul program also. Gurukul program is our one-year program. Because what I understand, and this program I have specifically created for the people who are not working. This is kind of a one-year working internship. This is kind of a one-year working internship, not a part-time. Or who can give 40 plus hours of effort in a week. Which means we are expecting you would be there for a 40 hours. Because I have seen people putting efforts and getting successful. And I have, with that, I came into the mindset that ki, there's more things are required, even which we are not covering into the internships. Uh, there are much more things are required to become a true consultant, right? 
your communications need to be improved your presentations need to be improved when we taken the people you will not believe i have taken the people and few of the students i have taken i find that they struggle even with the office tools also with excel even putting out of office people are struggling it how to raise a meeting invite in the teams they are struggling it how to change the team status they are struggling it how to efficiently work with the excel they are struggling it and i don't give a blame to them nobody has trained them and no project train you into those things these things soft skills how to respond to a email how to use a generative ai to responding to the emails right which people you need to include it which people you need to mark in cc all of these things nobody is training you right we are saying ki bhaiya these things you are a consultant you already know it right so we thought about there are so many things we need to train you how to create ppt documents how to create word documents how to use the different tools how to get exposure to enable now uh, to uh, uh, another products which has been used how to give soft skills to you how to improve your presentation skills so a lot of things is required a lot of efforts are required and you need to go deep into the module so we said that not everybody can put that effort but there are few people who are not working who have left the job who have a job gap or there are few people who are working in shifts and they have those kind of time of label which we are looking for to make you a true consultant we call it 360 degree consultant module knowledge project knowledge support knowledge and improving all around points your presentation skills how you present how you present in front of crowd how you speak it how you schedule the sessions or how you improve your communications so we have multiple workshops every day there is something happens uh, with that we also put you as a shadow with the consultant somebody was saying that shadowing work right project shadow is available with within the gurukul will be assigning with your working consultant he would be showcasing what kind of things he is working in a project so that you feel more comfortable what other things a consultant does right so that everything we have put into the gurukul program it's a one year program we are six month is mostly dedicated into the training training trainings and trainings and it's completely monitored what you do on the daily basis we are monitoring it almost on the daily basis there is a call with the mentor also they are monitoring you okay and there is a one hour of working session with the another colleagues and we are giving you a kind of offer letter also in this one your sarsar with id would be created and we'll also give you the stipend also once you complete the six month next six month we'll also give you the stipend which is roughly we have put it as a 15000 indian rupees per month of the stipend also you will get it but again when we started for it thousand of inquiries everybody wants to do it now we don't have that much of big capabilities that we can support that number of big people so this required a lot of efforts from our side and this required a lot of money also from our side because we are bringing you as a part of the guru as a part of the sastragik family creating your office 65 uh, accounts creating your official uh, email ids everything we are doing it so that also additional efforts i am bringing the mentors to support you and i am paying to that mentors many of them which is not directly part of the sastragi for the hourly basis we are paying to them so it is a lot of monetary wise additional efforts from our side time wise and the team efforts are also there so we we combined it with our diamond membership we said okay if you are too much interested into it if you are a diamond membership we give the gurukul program complimentary to you so there is a diamond membership if you want to be diamond membership means you have access to everything within the sastra geek whatever the trainings we are delivering live trainings or the and one year of uh, sap system access uh, video based training whatever the content we have you have access to everything plus on top of it you have access to our gurukul program and the response is amazing people are enjoying the gurukul program like anything but again this is a specific constraint we are not allowing you to join the gurukul program if you are working or if you are working but you are not able to give the 40 hours it is not for you it is for some specific crowd if you are working you are not able to give 40 hours in a week you are able to give 20 hours in a week with your working which i think you would be able to bring it out by working on the weekends internship program is the one which you should do it this is very intensive in nature okay so that is the gurukul program which uh, cm was asking
uh, Kavita is asking, I joined the master class last March, uh, so still it's complimentary. We don't put a constraint for it. So if you have a mastery bundle access, excellence bundle access, if you don't have a mastery bundle access now, you need to renew the mastery bundle. Because what is going to happen if you're doing the internship program, I have given you assignment. So we think that as a consultant, it is not necessary that what assignment you have given to it, you are trained on it, right? You have trained earlier, you forget it. So you should have access to mastery bundle so that you should be able to go back and revise it. You should be able to go back and revise it. So if you have access to mastery and access uh, excellence bundle, or you have access to two Sastra gig bundles as of now, if you have, and if you have a server access from us, server access also we give with the two bundles, you get a six months of server access. But now you don't have a server access. So you need to buy the server access. We, we also, our vendor gave the server access in the three months of bucket. So that's what you need to take a three months of uh, server access bucket. You need to take it to go through this uh, internship program. Mustafa is asking how many sessions per week? So make a note of it, right? Internship, uh, okay. Now the question is whether you're asking for internship or you're asking for Gurukul. Gurukul is kind of a working. We consider you, you are available Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, we have given off for the Gurukul. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you are available for the full four days as an employee. And the Saturday and Sunday, you are partially available because Saturday, Sunday, a lot of live training session happens. That is for the Gurukul. Internship, if you ask for, internship would be uh, one session with, with me would be there on Thursday. And then there would be additional ad hoc sessions would be there where many times you need to take initiative also to make sure connect with the people and get the things done. But there would be additional sessions over the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, there can be additional sessions which you need to jump in to make sure you complete the assignments and you take help from the other modules. Now you are doing a procure to pay. You got stuck with the finance. Errors are coming. The financial errors are coming. So you need to reach out to the finance team and you need to schedule a quick session with them. Right? You want to finalize the enterprise structure, which is very much integrated. So you all guys need to come over a call to finalize it. Okay, so I have a few more questions coming up. I would be jumping into the questions, but let me quickly cover, which will also answer a lot of questions. I will just take 10 more minutes to quickly cover it. Why internship program? I have already talked about it that why internship program is required so that you get the experience. You get ready with that experience and that experience which you will be getting into the internship will be asking you if you are not working, you can showcase it directly. If you're already working with a company in that company, you need to mold, you need to manipulate and put that experience so that you can go into the market. So basically in a nutshell, why internship program? to make you ready for the uh, projects and to make you ready for the market demand which require experience. So you are gaining the experience in the internship program. What is covered in the internship program? So you will be working on a simulated live project as a team member, a particular role would be given to you. You can be a team lead, you can be a consultant, you can be a junior consultant, but you would be given a to pa take part as a one module. You cannot, generally we don't allow you to take part into the two modules. Some, sometimes we does if you're putting additional efforts, but as a one part consultant, either you would be playing a role of SD consultant, MM consultant, PP, FICO consultant, or a BAP consultant, or a basis consultant. End-to-end -end implementation project exposure, you will get it. And we don't stop you to join into the multiple internship programs. If you have access to two bundles, if you still have access to two bundles, you have access to our SAP servers. You are ready to pay efforts, pay, put the efforts for this uh, program, which is required. We don't stop you. You can do the multiple also. You would be able to get into a shoe of consultant and deliver the project. So that gives you a lot of confidence. Once you have gone through one cycle, okay, ye karna hai. And then what happens that even though some people try to put some experience, I'm taking a lot of interviews. Even we are working on to one of the very big project, which is AI interviews for SFEs we are working on, right? So uh, <clears throat> I take a lot of interviews and people put the experience in, 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 in their uh, CVs and they don't have that experience. 
But when we ask it, they are not able to answer it. Some people are answering it, but you can find it out the confidence is not there in the voice. How the confidence will come in the voice? When you have actually done it, when you have actually created a functional specification, when you have actually integrated with our app to get it developed, when you have actually seen how this development is going to happen, it right, then the insights come, then uh, the enlightenment come. Okay, this is what we need to do it. Then you would be able to speak with the confidence in the interviews. Then you would be able to justify the experience which you are showing. Right? Because you have actually put it the efforts. <clears throat> what modules we are covering? We are covering MM, Sourcing and Procurement, PP, QM, SD, TM, ABAP, FICO. Uh, if somebody comes from EWM, we can also cover EWM. What are the activities covered? BBB preparations, you would be doing a BBB preparations to be process flow, business questionnaires, fit and gap workshops is a part of the business questionnaire, functional specification documentation creation, technical specification documentation creation, ABAP developments, you would be doing the ABAP developments, reports, interfaces, conversion enhancements, configuration documents, end-to-end -end configuration, end-to-end -end cycle run with the team, creating a testing, test plan, test scripts, integration test cycles, load, load the mass data into the system, cutover checklist, execution, overview, end user training manuals, preparations, train the trainer session preparations, finalizing your CV to showcase the experience. These are the things which is included. Again, I am telling you, this is not a training program. How to do this stuff, we will expect you have gone through the SAP job and mastery, you have watched the video, you know it, and you know your module knowledge because you have, you have completed our mastery product. This is the action. This is a course of action where I would be joining it and I would be saying, okay, Mr. Dilip or Mr. Shah, can you share your screen and showcase what BVP document you have created? Let me know where you are struggling it. This is kind of action oriented. We will be considering you as a consultant and expecting the delivery for you. Again, whatever the efforts you are putting it, it's a simulative efforts. There is no other company who is paying me for your efforts. That's why we don't pay for this internship and neither we charge for this internship. The additional efforts which we are putting for this internship, we are not charging it for it, right? We are giving you complimentary, but you should be having access to two bundles with Sastra Geek. We also give you the internship certificate, the six month of internship you have completed with us, that certification also will give it, but we'll give it to only those people who have actually completed it, who have participated into, we also have few people, they join in, and then they don't complete the assignment, we don't give the certificate. <clears throat> if you have actually done it, we, we give it the certificates for you. Pre-request and who can do the internship, I have completed. From my side, the content has been completely done. Okay, the content has been fully covered. I will be going through the question. There are a lot of questions are there in the chat. Okay, in between, if you want to ask your questions, you want to speak, you can also raise your hand. I would be going through two, three questions in the chat and then the few uh, hand raised in between I will ask you. So you can raise your hand also if you want to unmute and speak. First, I'm going with the Jenny's question. I have been FICO consultant and uh, uh, now my company moved me in SD to gain experience in SD. I have taken some courses already here and I would like to buy the SD course and join the internship as I already have an end-to-end -end expertise in SAP FI. So uh, uh, support team, please give access to Jenny for SAP SD so that she can go through the SAP SD course. Okay, and uh, SD course is going on, uh, but we give you access to one year so you can jump into the existing sessions or uh, by end of December or by next year, January, we will be starting the uh, new batches. Then also you will be able to go through the next batch is also. You will be having one year access in one year, whatever the different live sessions are happening, you will be able to attend. You will be able to attend more than one batch. Pramod has a question. Uh, uh, Hyperminder, does our business experience, business knowledge add value as a consultant? Pramod, business experience, business knowledge add a lot of value to you, right? I, was, I always tell people that 
why I am able to become a consultant. So uh, I, let me tell you my story, right? I was six months to a bench, but when I got a project, I always say that it is uh, by chance or it is my luck which favored me, okay? Uh, uh, I got an implementation project. And that is also world largest implementation project which has delivered as a big bang approach. <clears throat> there I joined the master data team. And by seeing my performance, they have quickly transformed me, transformed me into the functional track. They make me SAP PPQM consultant. And after a few uh, uh, couple of months, it was a very big 18 months project. And after a couple of months, they make me make lead. Make lead for the six countries, total nine countries we were going through as a big bang. They make me lead for the six countries. They make me make lead under me, the PP, QM, and WM consultant was coming it up. They make me make lead. The another guy who was handling the similar position for the three countries was a manager level role. So people ask me and I tell them that how I become successful into my first project itself because of the two reasons. The first reason is the business process knowledge I was having. I was very deep into the business process knowledge. In my four years of my automobile career, I worked into the different business processes and I was deep into it. And then when I worked into the SAP also, I worked very deep into SAP. I have, uh, even though I was not knowing, but I have learned a lot of things I had done uh, in my three years of effort. I have learned a lot of things. So that helped me uh, a lot to have a very good conversation with the business. I was able to understand that yeah, manufacturing me, this guy is working. What exactly his problem? That, that main problem is business is telling something and they want something. You are the consultant with your business knowledge. You need to ask the right questions to figure it out. What is exactly their problem? What is the pain point, root cause? And you need to give a solution for the root cause. I was able to do it because of my business process knowledge, which I gained in four years. Okay, so many projects promote, even I was writing in my last to last project, I was sitting with my uh, VP and we were writing the few job descriptions and he was also very clear and I was also very clear, we don't want anyone who has less than six years of uh, business operations or domain experience. Six years of domain experience on top of it, five plus years of SAP experience, that's the profile we wanted. We understand business process knowledge is, is having a lot of benefits, especially in the implementation projects. So it has a lot of value. Consider it. She is asking how long the internship program is. It's three to four months program. Sandeep is asking the fee for it. I have already talked about it. Sukh Singh is asking the timing of the Gurukul program. So timing of the Gurukul program is little flexible. It depends on the shifts you are working, but right now the most of the sessions are happening. Most of the Gurukul meetings and sessions are happening in the early morning, in the mornings, the first half of the uh, India Standard Time, the first half you should be available. Most of the sessions are happening in the first half, right? We expect you to be available for 40 hours minimum. It is little flexible we are giving. There are some people who are joining from the US and other countries. So they are working in their morning hours and evening hours to overlap with the India consultants who are working from the India side, right? So the timings are a little flexible, but uh, we have more actions in the first half of uh, uh, India Center time. Bhaskar is asking a question. Thanks for the detailed explanation to start SAP career. I'm planning to join SAP MM. Uh, this week, but the course will start at January 2025. Actually, I am jobless now and planning to switch my career to SAP side. Currently, I am in UK. I have 12 years of experience as SAP end user. Please advise to start the course immediately. Bhaskar, the right thing for you is the SAP Gurukul program. Okay. If you are interested, go for SAP Gurukul program because right now you don't have a job. You would be able to showcase that you are working in Sastra Geek Solutions. And that way you would be able to get the job easily also, right? So Gurukul program is the one you need to start with. To check for you that the MM is going to start in the January 2025, right? The new batch. But again, we don't deliver the batch training in the batches. We give you the community access. <clears throat> and you need to realize that the community is the one which make you drive and learn the things, right? 
So what you need to do, you need to enroll it immediately. Don't wait for the next patch. What you can do, all the video access is already there. You can go through the videos. You can start going through the videos. And when in the January 2025, you will jump into the live sessions, it would be a revision for you. It is not like that one time you will do and all the concepts will clear and you would remember everything. So you need to always revise. And it is always said, I've always said uh, in my childhood when I go into the school, my teacher always tell me, okay, tomorrow we'll be going through this particular chapter. Give a pre-read before coming into the class. If you give it a pre-read, right? Then your attention and the focus in the live session is very high, right? So don't waste your time. You can go ahead with SAP MM enrollment right away. Or you can also go with the Gurukul program also. I would say because you are not working, Gurukul suits you. Or SAP MM also, you can enroll immediately. Go through the video recorded. Live sessions are happening. Try to jump into the live session. Let's say I was having a live session today. And I was talking about uh, batch management. It was an integration session between SAP MM, PP and SD. I am 100% sure if you have end user knowledge, if you would be jumping into today's live session which I have conducted, you would be able to grasp 80% of it because it is complete new batch management topic, right? So don't waste your time and roll it as soon as possible. Try to go for Gurukul program. That's what would be my suggestion. Enroll it, go through the recordings. Don't miss the live sessions. Even you are not able to 100% understand it, but many things because of your end user experience, you would be able to capture in the existing batch also. And we are giving you one year access where you can join this batch. We can join the January batch also. After that batch, whatever batch we are going, delivering it, that batch also you can join it. We want to make good consultant. That is the vision. Okay, we are not with the institute ki we next batch join karna, pay it again, right? We are the only institute in the world you would be put, you would be seeing that one year access is given to the multiple live sessions. Okay, and the content you will see in the MM Mastery Bundle also, the content you will see, I guarantee you, nowhere in the world you will find that kind of content. <clears throat> Farin is asking, uh, I have recently enrolled for excellence program, but not used my server access. Can I use for the same for internship? Yes, Farin, you can use it. Sandeep is asking, I'm having 2.5 years plus SAP basis experience. Can I directly join the internship or I need to take the course? I can commit 40 hours per week. Sandeep, if you can unmute yourself, uh, if you can raise your hand, I will give you a chance to unmute. And I would like to ask a couple of more questions to you if you're still in the session. Yes, Sandeep. So uh, my first question to you is, are you uh, uh, currently working as a SAP basis consultant? Yes, sir. Okay. Then giving 40 hours for 40 hours per week would be very difficult for you. If you're already working as a SAP basis consultant, do you want to join internship for the basis? Sir, uh, I think we like last week we have an, uh, we had a conversation like uh, i have been informing you about cpa and mm in between that i have been confused and you have been suggested me about pp correct sir uh yes about? so uh, i'm interested in basis and side by side uh, like some advancement will be better for me so which module i suggested you you have suggested me pp pp so if I suggested you PP will not repeat that discussion. <clears throat> so then you would be joining the internship with the, uh, uh, you, you would be joining the internship with the SAP as SAP PP consultant. You are basis expert and then I can give you a little bit chance to work on to the authorization part that is we include from the basis side, but not the core basis work. We core basis work we don't include into the uh, internship only the security part we included right so if you want to enter into the internship you will have to take the two bundle access that is mandatory if you want to in if you want to come in as a pp consultant you need to also complete your mastery course first before you jump as a pp consultant in the internship 
I can give you based on your experience, I can give you immediate chance to work into the internship as a SAP basis consultant for the security part. But again, you will have to have access to two, two bundles from Sastravi. That was a question from Sandeep. Uh, okay, Saranya is asking for the fee details for the diamond membership. So Saranya, uh, uh, team would share with you. Uh, okay, I have a hand raised for Jenny. Jenny, go ahead. Hi, Pramenda. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. So I actually asked my question previously, and I just want to like get a clarity. So I do have experience in FI for about five years. However, like I got involved into SD and I do have experience, like I've been working in SD for almost like three months, but I want to really do the internship, like get an understanding of how, like, um, not as though I've done and, and implementation and here with SD consultants to discuss, but I just want to have a hands-on on the SD side. So I want to buy the, the two models, like the, the for XD, but I still want to be involved in the internship. So I just want to get clarity if I'm going to be involved in the internship, if I get the two bundles. Yes, if you get the two bundles, you will get uh, into the internship. And the okay. question which I want to ask you is, uh, you want to join as an internship as a SAP FICO consultant or SAP? No, 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 no. SD, SD consultant. Okay. I, and I, yeah. So the, the I will suggest you this thing, Jenny, and just listen to it, right? Okay. Because FICO experience, right? You take the two bundle access from us, and in this coming internship. Okay, which we are starting it from by end of this month, you join as SAP FICO consultant and you also check what are the things happening for SAP SD. Because for SAP SD, if some assignment would be given to you, we will be expecting that you already know the SAP SD. So for that, you need to complete the SAP SD mastery, right? So you join SAP FICO consultant, but you also check what are the things happening for SAP SD so that you can increase your knowledge gain and parallelly you can complete the uh, mastery course and then we'll give you one more chance to join into the next internship and i will i will be expecting that by next internship program you would be have uh, in the next project in the internship you would be have completed your sd mastery course then you can fully participate as a sap sd consultant Okay. Okay, Paminda. Thank you. Sure, sure. Okay, Sarana has a few questions uh, which has been responded. Uh, I have a question from Reyaz. Reyaz is saying, I'm thankful to Paminda. I talked to Vijaya. She worked so hard. Uh, already did SAP and she came to Sastra Geek, so he was way ahead and she worked uh, very hard. I'm honest, I don't have time that much, so I'm not sure at this moment because I do not have that much of time to work, uh, to run the family. Uh, okay, no problem, uh, Reyaz. I always prefer people to take an informed decision. That's right. So Reyaz is the one who came to me in one-to-one -one career counseling. So I make him speak with one of the existing student who is in who is in the same global situation, who has a similar profile, who is working as SAP consultant. Uh, uh, and uh, with speaking with her, now Riyadh understand a lot of efforts are required, which she might not be able to put it. So that's okay. I always prefer you take an informed decision. I don't want to tell anybody like this is a cakewalk, you join and you will get a job efforts would be required and a lot of efforts would be required to become a good consultant. If you are ready to put efforts, then only, or if you have a time available for that efforts, then only join. So I'm, I'm happy for you, Riyaz, that you have taken an informed decision. I'm going ahead with uh, Atanu. Go ahead, Atanu. 
Hi, Parminder. How do you? So I'm in uh, presently S4 uh, current, I mean, current batch of MM. I don't know how much percentage had been covered. So if it is a 70% uh, mark beyond which I am eligible to uh, get into the internship, if that's the case, that so, by... So, so most of the, most of the people... Mm -hmm who are into the current batches of SD, MM, PP, FICO, they would be eligible because we are starting by end of this month. Mm -hmm. okay, and that uh, the first session would be the team building session. We'll be forming a team. And mm -hmm. the action will start from the first week of December. And I'm expecting by first week of December, easily all of these courses would be at the 80% mark. Okay, great. Now, the second part, if you please allow me to, ask so the second bundle i'm kind of in a dilemma that will go, go for abap or ewm because initially i had a discussion with bhupender uh, when he suggested me that mm ewm will get you a job uh, hopefully hopefully again no no one can guarantee so i'm in a dilemma that your abap training as far as my understanding it will be online starting very soon or what yeah, ABAP training is online, the same way you are attending MM, the same way ABAP session would be there uh -huh. online and starting very soon. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you currently working? No, no, no. As I discussed with you very earlier stage and uh, there is a long gap. So, but I have a good deal of knowledge in ABAP, a little bit here, a little bit there. Not exactly, uh, you know, in a coordinated or uh, steadfast way, but uh, I have a fair deal of knowledge on ABAP. Which, which I would like to consolidate, if that's the case. Which country you belong from? Here, India. I mean, Kolkata. 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 Uh, Atanu, don't go for anything. Uh, Bhupendra just schedule a one-to-one -one call. Sure. With Atanu, I would like to speak again and we'll try to see. I personally feel that a map right now would not be that good module, but I still want to have a little bit detailed discussion with you. That will be so nice. Thank you so very much. Sure. So I'll get in touch with Bhupender, right? Yeah, get in touch with Bhupender. He will uh, make you in one of the next week sessions, which is coming. Absolutely. Up. He will. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Bhupender. Kavita is asking, what should I do to uh, get in Gurukul program? Uh, Gur Gurukul program, you should be part of the Diamond membership. That's what you need to do. Second thing, you should be available to give 40 hours per week of commitment. That is another thing which you will require. 40 hours per week of commitment and the uh, diamond membership access can fall you into the, with that you can fall in into the Gurukul program. Just write a specific email and there would be also a small interview. I would be doing it to check you whether you are fit for it. Basically, what other thing I'm checking is the commitment whether you are 100% committed to work and get your profiles converted. So uh, if that is the thing, you will be getting you in into the Gurukul program. Okay. So just write a specific email to support at Sathar Geek about the Gurukul program, Kavita and Shweta, and they will tell you about the Gurukul program. And before that, they will also try to arrange a call with me. Uh, where basically I want to speak one-to-one -one with the people who are jumping into the Gurukul. Because it's not like that everybody is suited for the Gurukul or Gurukul is suited for everyone. The both way, it is not there. So I want to check that. And it's a big ticket program. And the diamond membership is not, uh, uh, is, is quite some amount. The value is much beyond to it, right? Which is there in the Gurukul program. But still, I don't want to make sure we don't waste anybody's time, anybody's money and we also don't waste our efforts also that's where we want to check the right fit for the gurukul so get in touch with the support team they will get a one-to-one -one connected they will make you one-to-one -one connected with me where we find it out that you are the right suitable for this program and the program is suitable for you and then you go ahead yeah jenny go ahead Jenny, your no, hand is... I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've asked my question. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. No problem. no problem. Okay, with that, I have asked answered all of the questions which is there in the chat. What are the people who have raised their hand? That question also have 
answer it. If you have uh, uh, any question, uh, if you have, I would uh, just wait for a few more seconds if anyone has any another question which is still not answered, and then we'll end our call for today. Okay, I don't see any further uh, things coming up. Thank you for joining this session. Thank you for giving your valuable time for this session. I really appreciate your presence and uh, we'll connect you into the different sessions and we'll connect next Sunday again. The team will get you informed over the uh, email or over the Telegram channels that what would be the topic for next Sunday. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.